Right, we have uh, something a little bit different on the bench today. This is my Dow Optiplex Big Sur Hackintosh machine. Let's switch it on. It's a Dow Optiplex 9020 mini tower that I purchased for just 40 pounds. I think that's about 55 pounds in dollars. And I've got it running big sir. As you can see, it boots up quite quick once it's past all the uh, scrolling text. I know I can hide that, but I actually quite like that. So, let's put in my password and then we'll come back. Right, it's booted into Big Sur now. As you can see, it's a Dow Opti Optiplex 9020. It's got a quad core i5 4570 fourth generation Intel processor. A 256 gigabyte SSD and the original 250 gigabyte spinning hard disk in it. It's running 32 gigabytes of RAM because this model of the Optiplex has four slots, so you can do that. The two slots one you can only upgrade to 16 gigabyte. I originally installed Catalina on it using an excellent guide on Tony Mac. 86.com there's a guide for the 7020 the 9020 and I think the 3020 as well I'll show that on screen now um, quite an easy guide it did take me about half a day of messing around and up doing the upgrades that I wanted to do to get it up and running and it runs extremely well it does have a Radeon RX 460 the gigabyte version with four gigabytes of RAM which is metal supported and fully hardware supported hardware acceleration is fully supported in this machine as well all in all it's a great little machine and a very cheap way of getting yourself an iMac so we'll take a closer look And performance is pretty good. Let's perhaps show you some YouTube. Uh, you can see it runs really well. It's 1440p, 60 frames per second. Handles that no problem. See if it can handle 4K. Probably a bit slow loading because I'm using power over Ethernet, Ethernet out here in the shed. But yeah, handling that fine. Um, what else can I show you? Right, I, I primarily built this machine for video editing. And as you can see, iMovie runs pretty well. I've yet to install Final Cut Pro and try that out. It's a little bit slow on scrubbing. This is 1080p 60 frames per second video. I'm sure Final Cut will run better because of the optimized GPU. The GPU in here handles H.265 hardware encoding. So that will be handy for that. general web use as you can see runs actually fine all in all it's a good all round iMac or Hackintosh Right, it's time to let you take a look inside. 
Sorry about the jiggly camera work. There it is. I've just got the SSD flopping around on there for a minute. I've got a new cradle coming which holds the hard disk and a two and a half inch drive as well so I can put the SSD and the hard drive on one cradle but due to the postage strikes here in the UK it's taking its time coming there's the Radeon 4 gigabyte RX5 460 sorry yeah this one this is perfect for this machine as it has no power connector it draws its power from the PCI Express slot which means I didn't have to upgrade the power supply although there is a good gold rated power supply it's only 290 watt but it's fine for this I think in the um, slim version and the microform factor version the power supplies are a lot less rated I think they might be 130 or 170 watt but this is 290 watt and it is gold rated so it's a good little power supply perfect for running all this without any problems I've got two sticks of 1866 HyperX RAM and two sticks of 16 gigabytes uh, 8 gigabytes 1600 megahertz RAM and just the standard stock cooler because it uses a propriety fan header uh, I might try and upgrade that to a better cooler at some stage. Yeah, uh, future plans. I want to upgrade it to an i7. It will take an i7 4770. People have tried, but I might try the 4790 in there. But the 4770 will do fine. Just to give me those extra four threads. So it will then be four core, eight thread processor. Um, and we're going to modify the BIOS to run an NVMe card SSD to give even more spoon beast and there's a very very good guide that somebody has written and I'll put it up on screen now it's tachytelic.net and he does a guide on how to modify the BIOS on the 30, 20, 70, 20, and 90, 20. So you can add an NVMe drive. Um, when I do that, I'm also going to put in a 2 terabyte hard disk. This is just a 250 gigabyte hard disk that came with the computer. So yeah, I want to upgrade that storage. And you can put a standard PC power supply on here. But the cable, the pin header on here, is only 8 pin from the power supply. So you can buy these adapters really cheap on eBay. I think that cost me £4.50. Which will adapt from a PC supply to the 8 pin. Um, what other future plans do I have? Yeah, upgrade to the latest Mac operating system, Monterey. I'm sure this will run it, but I'm going to wait until the i7 arrives and I can fit that in. So there it is, there's my Dow Optiplex Hackintosh. Very good little machine. Was it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I was looking at getting iMacs for, just for video editing and you know, I was looking at about four or five hundred pounds for something that I wanted to be capable of doing 1080p and possibly 4K comfortably. And yeah, I wasn't going to spend that amount. So this little Hackintosh will do the job. Total cost, um, the RX 460 I already had. And I think I only paid 150 pound for a machine that it came in. And that machine's gone out with a higher spec graphics card, so that owes me nothing. The RAM I already had in stock. It, this originally came with eight gigabytes of RAM, two four gigabytes. So um, I reckon the total cost for me was a brand new SST. It's probably around about 120 pounds. So well worth it for a respectable.
good performing Hackintosh. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, I'll be doing more tech stuff like this. Um, if you want to see a guide on, on how we hacked MacOS onto this, let me know. I could do a video on that. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.